Well, the first step in any of these revival projects is to assess what you've got. Now, in, in most cases, the engine is together, so you'll do what you can to try to get it started or at least see if it spins, it's got oil pressure, it's got compression. But well, we, we can't do any of that stuff here because the engine is apart. Um, but before we go and we spend any time prepping it, the, the deck and all, and then putting everything together, we want to make sure that the, the short block is, is viable, that it's got some compression. Now, Stuby pulled the head off of this because two cylinders were light on compression. He had no compression. Which two? Uh, we only tested the first two, one and two. One and two. And you had no compression? None. All right. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if it was out of time, and it was just... Well, timing wouldn't affect compression, you know. But, uh, I mean, it, it, it could have been a head gasket. It could be bad rings in... in it could be anything. So what we're going to do here is we're going to we're going to basically give this motor a cool leak test. So this is an actual bona fide leak test where you would use compressed air to see how, how what the percentage of leak would be or how well the cylinder seals. We obviously can't use compressed air here unless we put the whole motor together. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the second best thing to a leak test. We're going to use gasoline, and what I'm going to do is. I'm going to cover the head of each of the pistons, right? And we're going to watch and see. All right, well, obviously that one's to the top. So now we're just going to watch. If any of these are really bad, it's going to bleed down right away. Now naturally, you have your ring gaps, right? Um, and the oil ring does a fairly good job of sealing the liquids, but still there are the gaps there. If there was a real problem, let's say, where all of the rings were embedded in the piston, they were crusted up or crowded up, this gas will pretty much run right through it as if as if there's a hole in it. And this one here looks like it's dropping fairly rapidly. See this one's holding nice, right up to the edge there. That one's dropping a good bit. Can you stoop fill this up again? Oh. Containers over there.
this one's this one's definitely drying up here. All right, so this one here, all right, this is what I want to do, Stoop. Let's see if we can rotate this motor to get these pistons down here. Okay. Uh, what do you see. have? Uh, let me see, let me see. What implements do you have here? Give me one sec. You know what? I tell you what, Stuby. Don't don't even bother. Huh? Don't even bother. All right. So here's okay. So what I was going to do is rotate the motor so that all of these two outer pistons were down a little bit more, so I could get some more coverage. Right? Just to double check the test that we're doing here now. But I see that the way this is this is going down. This cylinder, this thing is not sealing the rings. See, that's still, it's still just about up there at the top. These others are holding, this one's down a little bit from where we had it. But this one is clearly emptying out quickly. So what I was going to do is rotate the motor just a few degrees to get this piston and this piston down and then do this test again just to see how it would seal for the, the upper part of the piston, but that's, that's toast. So yeah, look, it's, it's, now it's, that's the last of it, Yeah. right? Yeah. So if this cylinder, we know that this cylinder won't hold liquid gasoline for any amount of time. And even just a small section of it won't hold liquid gasoline for any amount of time. It's certainly not going to hold air. So we know that that cylinder was a dead player. Now if we go ahead and we put the cylinder head on this and try to get it running, we know it's going to be a five cylinder engine. So. Is it a surprise to you that we're going to have to pull this thing out and no. ring it? Not at all. Yeah. Well, there's the answer as to why he had no compression. Although the second cylinder is still holding plenty of gas. Like I said, it might have had a bad head gasket too, so it was pushing it over to the other one. Yeah. Alright, this, this thing is definitely going to need a re-ring. Let's check the cylinder head. Oh look, you wear sandals like the uh, the California TV guys. Yep. That's impressive. Okay. Keep your feet away from Yep. Yep. All Yeah, come around to this side, Cap. You see, we have no leakage past the valve so far. Oh, yes we do. So, here's an intake valve that's leaking. The 
you see that? Okay. So, Stuby, you had no compression on number one and number two. Both one and two. Right, okay, so here's one. The valves are sealing. Here's two where you had no compression. And the intake valve was leaking. Fine. So you had weak rings on one cylinder and weak valve seal on the, on the other. And there's your compression loss. This one too. Look at the way it's just running out of the intake valve. This one. So th this engine needs a valve job. Look at that exhaust. Just pour right out of the exhaust. Okay, I, I've seen enough. So, the lesson here, kids, is that had this thing been together and we would have poured gas down the carburetor and done all the things to get it running, it would have run poorly. So, half the battle's already done. The motor's already halfway taken apart. So at this stage of the game, we're gonna have to get this back to the shop, pull the motor out, drop the pan, get the rings out, and if the pistons are in good shape, we should be able to give it just a quick hone and reassemble it. And of course, we'll lap these valves. And look at the way it's just, I mean, just this, this thing would have run terribly. Yeah. I had it run a few times, but it, it did. It ran like shit. Yeah. Well, here you go. Here's why. All right. So, uh, you hit this thing over to the shop tomorrow. Yeah. And you wear, you wear men. Yeah. I'll actually wear shoes. Okay, cool. All right. So that's it. We've assessed the mess. Time to move on to the next phase. I'll see you tomorrow.